Good Wednesday morning, Northern Michigan. Dr. Jen Klebundy with Northwood Animal Hospital joins us for Pet Talk today. And she also has a little guy here who's shaking uncontrollably, but he is so sweet and he needs a home. He does need a home. He's available through Hands, which is a local organization that, that rescues pets. Um, he's a nice boy. He oh, is shaking. He's so sweet. I think it's excitement of being a movie star. That could be. He's yeah. a star today. <laughs> and how old is he? He is a middle-aged dog. I'd say maybe around five or so. Five. Um, yeah, but he seems to be in, in great health and he's ready for his home. Cute little chihuahua. Absolutely. And the reason that we have him here today is because we're talking about fixing your male pets right. and why you should do it. Right. And he is an, you know, a middle-aged pet. He was just neutered this week. So it doesn't matter what age they are to get them neutered. Uh, the sooner, the better. Okay. But even if they're an older pet, you still want to get them neutered. Um, and there's lots of health reasons for this. A lot of people think that it's just so that uh, you don't have unwanted litters. But that's actually the least of your concerns health-wise. Um, there are some good important mm -hmm. points that, sure. that we want to cover later, and, and that's what we're here to talk about. And pretty much kind of looking at the list and we have the list uh, that we put up on or if we could bring it up in just a few minutes. So, uh, first, one of the things, uh, you don't want any unwanted litters right. if, if you're not planning on breeding, of course. Exactly. And, and breeding is the only reason really to keep your pet intact or not neutered. Uh, unwanted litters, you know, our shelters are full of pets that need homes. Lots of you are euthanized every year. You want to stop that and one way to do it is by castrating your dog. Um, next week we'll talk about reasons to spay your, your female, but, okay. but today is the males. Decreases aggression, uh, roaming behaviors. Um, it, did you know that a, a male can smell a female in heat up to five miles away? You're kidding. No, so he's going to break down doors, you know, go through windows trying to get to that female. Right. So if, he, if you take away the source, then that's not going to be a problem. Also, inappropriate urination so marking everywhere inside outside that's going to be greatly decreased if you neuter your dog as well um, or cat for that matter okay and the other reasons health reasons are decreases your risk of getting tumors you mm -hmm. know perianal tumors which are around the anus prostate problems um, and then testicular tumors obviously if there's no testicles present you're not going to get uh, testicular cancer which can happen so these are all really good reasons to, to neuter your pet the only reason to keep your pet intact is to um, is to breed and sure and honestly uh, the shelters are so full of pets that exactly. we really don't need a lot of those out there and this little guy he's you know like you mentioned five years old he was spayed recently but typically the best time to neuter your pet is very young age four to six months yeah and this is because um, you're going to decrease all of those those behavioral issues that can occur after six months of age uh, the sooner we do it the better Four months is usually a good time, good starting point to start. Okay. Um, but any any age is a good a good age to to neuter your pet. And if you are a Chihuahua fan, where can they <laughs> look for this little guy here? His name is Cow. He is the going to be at, with us at Northwood for today, look so you can him. always call us. But he is uh, adoptable through Hands. Okay. And they're Perfect. available online on Facebook. You can give us a call. We'll give you their number. He's a sweet dog. Excellent. Well, Dr. Klebundy, thank you so much. You're welcome. I will put a direct link to Northwood Animal Hospital on our website, upnorthlife.com, including all the details about this little guy who desperately needs a home. And switching gears, now taking a look at your weather forecast, we turn things over to Storm Team Meteorologist Christina Burkhart.